everyone. Thank you for tuning in and hope you're all keeping well. Again, appreciate the huge amount of support here at the Kedron Factory on the behalf of the whole team, all the family. It is fantastic to see there has been a huge growing base and followers for the YouTube clips. And for this, we thank you very much. So if you've commented or liked or shared the clips over the time, or subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of the new deliveries. Thank you ever so much. And today we've got two deliveries heading out the factory here. So the first one we'll have a run through and I will go back to the second one and pop another clip up after. There's a couple outside here that are going through the water testing bays and getting set up with our electrics. Certainly a beautiful van here. So this one is single beds up the front and has the rear full ensuite. So in the center is the kitchen. And then on the opposite side is the bifold dinette with the extendable dining table. So it just bifolds out nice and easy. The LC200 here, all getting the electrics hitched up for Phil and Katrina. As we say, is an 18 foot six XC5. So this one is sitting on the Kedron KRS or the recovery stub suspension. This is in the auto level. So underneath the van with those Firestone airbags and then back up top here on the inside of the recess inset in behind there is the 400 amp lithium power pack and then this side is that German made pump with the air outlet so you've got a tyre inflation kit that comes standard with an extender to reach your tow vehicle also so if you're travelling on the beach and doing some towing and then you come up the cuttings and then pull up on the bitumen to save having to line up at a service station in busy times you can have your own tyre inflation kit there with an extender to pump both the tyres of your van and your tow vehicle up. As we say, this is riding on the Kedron KRS suspension. So this here has a speed sensor underneath. So this always defaults back to highway mode when you're towing. So if you're in say parked height, I'll just press the button into parked height. So you'll see the whole van will lower down and make it nice and easy to get inside and out that van. And then it also has it at its lowest storage height. So you might be trying to get it underneath a carport or into a garage, at the press of a button, you can have that drop right down. If you are camped up and you have an uneven campsite, you can simply go down to manual mode and level up each side of the van as well. Alternatively, if you are traveling off-road, say here on the beach, and you want to get the maximum amount of clearance and ride height for traversing through the off-road, you can simply press that off-road button here. That will lift the van up to its highest ride height here and then have the van with the maximum amount of clearance underneath. All right, we might pop straight inside the van. I'll just sit that back there. This one here has that pull-out fridge freezer. It's also got an alarm in this one as well. So a movement alarm. So in behind there, that gray dome is actually an alarm. I heard them testing it yesterday and it works very well. We'll just pop the boots off and we will step inside. So stepping inside the van here, I will pop back into the ensuite area. I might just flick this camera to the wide angle just to show. So just to give a wide angle look on the inside of the van here. So it has that large stainless sink here. Beautiful earthy tones in this one, those separate commercial tiles in the floor there. Beautiful van, certainly a homely feel. Those earthy tones certainly add a warm touch. I will just pop back to the normal vision here. So the microwave has those stainless steel brackets. Next to this is the electronics heartland on the inside. So the dual controller for that aircon up the top, you have that low profile aircon. So it's remote control as well as you can control it from here. This also controls that instant gas hot water system on the outside of the van. Press button circuit resetters, the control here for the combi inverter charger. Above this are the readouts with the Cymarine. So you can download an app to your smartphone, get a readout, a host of readouts here. So the voltage, the charge going in from solar in the vehicle, water tank level indicators there, as well as the external electrical cabinets temperature. 
that there has that thermostat controlled fan to keep things nice and cool in there when that's closed with the dust prevention buttons shut. Above this is the Pioneer head unit, so USB, Bluetooth, CD, and again you can download a remote uh, controller for your smartphone and use it just with an app, so nice and easy. Below this and underneath are the further LED lighting for more lights above the kitchen. And then also that slimline range hood here, dual 240 volt outlets are either end facing down, so it keeps it nice and neat and stops having to have to cut into that splashback and have a uh, point there. So it just keeps it nice and neat with those dual outlets underneath. Large window above the kitchen space here. So you might be pulled up there and you could serve even, you know, you could have some food being prepped and someone's in the annex and you can open that window and serve out there if you wish. Or have your maximum privacy and insulation with those closed. This has the Tetford fan forced oven. So it features a stronger lid on these now as well as three gas and one 240 so if you're in a caravan park or access to mains power you can run the electric element there some welcome bubbles and chockies here again anvers in south australia fantastic team there they also picked up a van a month or so ago and hi to the whole team and hope you're enjoying your new van down there further storage in between the kitchen here with that pantry so three shelf pantry and then three drawers also. So you could use these for either storing clothes if you wish, or you could have that for a pantry space. There is a second pantry, so more than likely use that for storage for clothes. Swivel TV DVD there. So again, the single bed. So on top are some gifts. Underneath that Duna cover are the locally made bamboo pocket spring mattresses. So super comfy in these. And again, locally made. Swiveling around to the side pockets here. So there's USB outlets in there to charge your phones. You can have your blue lights on or blue lights off. You've got access in the front here so you can see the division here. And then also you can see the 12 volt, 240 volt and USB outlet as well. Swiveling around again are the larger windows either side of the bed. Above this is a 12 volt directional fan. So you have the gas code vent above the beds here. I'll just swivel around and just show up top. So these are reverse, so you can have in and out drawer, adjustable speed, plus they've got a permanent ventilation in there for the gas code. So that's your roof drawer ventilation in this, and then it has the door vent in the entrance door as a floor vent for the gas code. Cafe dinette there, lift up leg extensions, plenty of storage underneath. These here, again, bifold out nice and easy. So you can simply lift that out and have your maximum bench space here at the cafe dinette. Some welcome gifts, coffee mugs and tactical pens and key rings. Behind in here are additional charge outlets for the USB for your phone. And then also the diesel heater controls there as well. Another nice large window above the cafe dinette to make the most of being able to have your maximum view and ventilation. So you've got a midgy proof screen in these and very nice and easy to use. Above this, you can see the amount of storage in this van. Features those overhead cupboards all the way along in that nice beige look. Positive, positive lock. <laughs> positive push and twist lock catches here and then a full height stainless steel piano hinge keeps things nice and firm there between the cafe dinette and the fridge space here is that pantry space we were talking about before another full height stainless steel piano hinge and three more pull out drawers underneath these here all feature the nice solid metal sided roller drawers so really smooth and really reliable there 12 volt compressor fridge freezer. So that plenty of storage there to keep your goods frozen and cool. Swiveling around into the dinette. This has a full height mirror. So the entrance door on the dinette here, full height mirror. Just opens the things up or opens the feel up inside the van. And then those travel lock catches here. Keep those doors nice and firm when you are traveling. Entering into the ensuite features the cassette toilet, soft blue night light down there. Up above this is the wall mounted washing machine. As we say, that is all strengthened in with 
a noggin in between that interlocked aluminium frame behind. Nice amount of mirror space there. A ceramic bowl mini basin with a flick mixer tap and underneath that more storage again. Another travel latch there and then open up and enter into the shower itself. So further ventilation there, nice window to be able to have your ventilation and view out. Flick mixer tap, two handles, so a foot handle in this one and a grab handle. And this is on that slip and crack resistant alloy shower base. So they're all welded and locally powder coated. Looking back inside the van here, just a nice overview. Up top here is the Kedron Design Registered Internal Accessible Filtered Compression Hatch Filter there. So when you're traveling on dirt roads, simply turn on the button. So I'll just swivel back here. Turn on the button and that fan will kick in and draw filtered air to pressure inside the van itself. So it just has a positive pressure inside the van with filtered air. Looking down here, we will go inside the walls of the van just to showcase that Australian made non-toxic insulation that goes between that interlocked aluminium frame. The frame itself has solid high tensile steel pin punches. So it keeps things really nice and strong. And then with the wiring as it goes through, it has those knock-in plastic protection grommets for the wires for protection there when you are traveling as well. Back inside the van and we'll go up top here. That shine is because that's an aluminium dye bond in the ceiling. And above that is the thermo block non-toxic insulation, also Australian made. So fantastic thermal properties inside the van. Great for the cool and the heat, but also for the noise. So it's uh, yeah, some great developments there with the insulation over the years. LC200 getting its electrics all fitted up. That was a stock compact, uh, stock scrub pack. So the new scrub pack that's coming through the line. It was one of our only last display vans and it's sold straight away before it's even gone up to the yard. So it's um, getting pre-delivered. So the folk that bought that have had two new Kedrons and that is their third. So we'll do a run through on that one also. Certainly a great looking van here in the silver, black and rhino combo for Phil and Katrina. Beautiful amount of features in this one. The LC200 has had the four ton towing upgrade on this. So the van has an ATM of 3990. It has a padded cover over the electric front jack here. Nice access port on that powder coated, laser cut, welded and locally made enclosure there which houses a ventilated twin nine kilo cradle of gas bottles. So they have stainless straps there to keep them nice and secure. And then also stainless locks here so you can lock that back as well. You can also lock with stainless straps the twin 10 litre jerry can holders, some nice laser cut XC5 alloy plates, protect that front box. On the front boxes here, again, all locally made, Australian made and laser cut plate alloy again. So all of these boxes on these have been CAD designed and uniquely made for the Kedron owners in their different models. Inside there is the housing for the disc brake fluid. Foldable twin push bike carriers there. Above this is the Kedron design registered solar awning. So this has got 4180s up top, so no need for the additional solar. You could still have it but that makes a really nice awning as well as when that folds and locks down. Great protection for that front window and insulation as well. Genuine Rhino coating on the front scrub protection plates there. Lockable filler for the diesel heater here. Nice and accessible and as we say lockable. A-frame tap moved up nice and accessible here. Outlet for the gas bayonet connection for the approved appliances. As we're saying, the auto leveling suspension. So that there on the auto level. So if you are towing in off-road, say, so we'll just go back to off-road. If you're towing in off-road and you go over about 80 kilometers an hour, the speed sensor will pick that up and drop the van back automatically to the lower highway mode, just for a nice safe tow. Gets the center of gravity down and just gives it a nice stable tow. Alternatively, like before, if you were in parked height, 
and then you drive off and forget to press this back to highway mode, there's no need to be concerned because that speed sensor will pick up when it goes over approximately 20 kilometers an hour and it will automatically lift the van up to highway mode without you touching anything. So great system there, very popular on the airbag models now with that auto leveling. This here next to that pullout box has a pullout 32 litre compressor fridge freezer here as well. So it's got an alloy plate that we make up there, or a tray, power outlet and the LED lighting. Next to this is the external TV recess on the outside down to the Goodyear Dura tracks, so the flagship tyre for Goodyear in those. The Kedron load rated alloys. As we say, this one here is riding on the disc brakes, so it has the disc brakes on all four wheels here. Beautiful braking with these. The drum brakes have been ever so popular over the time, but you uh, travel and brake with disc brakes and the, the difference in how smooth they come on. They just seem to tuck the van down nice and smooth when you apply the brake, so beautiful system here. That KRS suspension has been physically RAM tested at a government approved facility in South Australia. So beautiful testing there also on the Gore Boys Adventures. Plus recently we had the Hilux out. So there's a new Hilux release. So we did some test towing with the Hilux in various terrains. So I'll just pop a clip over here. So we had the Hilux towing through the ranges. We had it on the bitumen. Uh, we went off the bitumen onto the dirt roads through the pine forest areas. So to get the corrugation and the dirt road feel at low speed and a higher speed. We then went out through some creek crossings just to get the articulation and the feel of the Hilux towing in the off-road through, say, those creek crossings. Popping out here, uh, Dad and Dave and myself, we uh, went down onto Rainbow Beach. So out for some cutting. So when you come out on these cuttings, it really puts the tow package to the test going over the ruts and then obviously through that soft sand and out onto the hard. Certainly a very picturesque spot there to be doing some testing up there at Rainbow Beach. Certainly a wonderful spot. Uh, but then to come back down along Double Island on the beach also. So we put it through a raft of different terrains and then on the highway just to showcase the stability of the vans. We did some overtaking here with the new Hilux and the scrub pack in the 20 foot overtaking the B-double truck. So you can just see how beautifully stable that the vans sit behind the Hilux itself. So this one here behind the 200 series should sit as stable as it gets. Back underneath the van here, the water tanks. So they're an Australian made food grade water tank, custom made for the Kedron owners. You can see the Kedron embossed there. They're internally strengthened, baffled, rock dropouts, as well as bolts straight to the chassis themselves. In front of this is the air tank, so a seamless air tank there for the compressed air for the suspension and tyre inflation. All right, we'll pop back out here and just swivel and showcase the van itself. Again, an 18.6. This one here has the rear front, rear and front composite rollover on the roof. It certainly gives it a really nice smooth looking finish there. The Kedron badging underneath that is a reverse camera. So between that XC5 and the Kedron badge is a reverse camera and then a pole carrier underneath that. Twin spare wheels between this is the outside shower recess and then we'll just swivel around and showcase the offside of the van here. So that has that instantaneous gas hot water system and the outlet here for the grey water tank. So if they're camped up in an environmentally sensitive area or maybe in a water catchment area, that can be shut off and hold your shower and your washing up water. So Phil and Katrina have certainly got one very well featured van here. Inside is the E-Pro Combi. So the inverter charger here that has its own ventilated drop door and then also has a thermostat control fan at the back there to keep things nice and cool. In front of this is the electronics heartland. So this houses the regulator, the DC to DC, the main shutoffs. This has a storage shutoff there. So you can turn that red switch block there and that will isolate that 400 amp lithium power pack. 
to put it into storage mode. Also has that thermostat controlled fan up top so that keeps things at the correct operating temperature when these press buttons are closed. So again, if you are traveling on dirt roads, you simply shut that door. It's got a triple rubber seal and then you've got your shut off buttons there. All right, everyone, we'll uh, wrap it up here. So Phil and Katrina can have a walk through their beautiful new setup they've got here. We'll uh, just walk back and show the 200 series all set up here. Certainly a wonderful tow package, has the extendable tow mirrors. It's got the front bar, looks like it's got the recovery points. And getting set up here with Andy for all the electrics. Here you go, mate. <laughs> Good. Having a win? <laughs> So yeah, we're all uh, getting set. So Phil and Katrina will have one wonderful package here when it's all finished, the electrics are done, all hitched up, have those weight distribution bars set up and we will head off for a test tow up the highway to make sure things are all sitting nice and stable, adjust the electric brakes, and Phil and Katrina will be on their way. So thanks again for tuning in everyone. Appreciate all the great support. Phil and Katrina, thank you very much for choosing Kedron. Been great to see your van rolling through the production line with all of the new features you've added and to everyone else thank you for tuning in and we may catch up with phil and katrina on the track someday if not we might catch up with you on the next walk through thanks again everyone stay safe and keep well bye for now